don't want to test a probe, no? I mean, the client was a, a big part of constructing the question. And uh, the, the object is, of course, to look at political preference in general and to look at how we are, um, you know, who everyday Filipinos support at this particular time. And so we were happy to get to generate some information. Uh, it, it was also an attempt to test the validity of the question. We, we could change the question over time. Um, and so this is the object of our uh, probe. So uh, I hope that, uh, yeah, is that better? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. You can just go down. Yeah, just go down. Yes, one more, one more. Yeah, that's it. No, no, no you, you, you missed it now, Richard. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's it. No, no, can you go up? Yeah, that's it, that's it. No, can you go up? Can you go up? A little more, One page one, Richard. Uh, second, yeah, second page, I'm sorry, second page. Yep. Okay, that's it. Stop there. Make it bigger. Yeah, that should be good. Interesting uh, findings. Yeah. So the basic question is, uh, are you pro Marcos? No? So the uh, the statement which best describes you is is the the way we we, uh, we ask the question. And I support President Marcos and his administration. Thirty one percent. I support the, the Duterte family and their political alliance. We, we classify them as pro Duterte. That's twenty percent. I support the opposition. We we didn't give, we didn't define the opposition to our uh, interviewees as just the Liberal Party. We just said that you know this may include the left and the the the, the Liberal Party or the traditional uh, opposition, but that generated a support of four percent. So, but then this is quite surprising. No, uh, twenty nine percent. We call them independents in the study. I do not support the Marcos administration the Duterte family, and the opposition, 29%. And those ambivalent, 15 meaning they refused. So ang laki ng anti-system, if I can put it that way. <laughs> right? yeah, that's um, a, a, a that. oh, oh. No, but This is a space where the opposition can build on. Yeah, this is a space also that will be up for grabs if you're part of the Duterte alliance building a, the new opposition in their view. And of course, the Marcos administration was trying to solidify their base, no? So twenty nine percent. So where is uh, where, where where do we locate the Marcoses? No, the pro Marcos support. No, it's largely in the national capital region, no? Uh, and Visayas. Okay, uh, they're they're not very strong at this particular time in Mindanao. Seventeen percent lang sa kanila, and uh, their their base of support is DNE. Okay, so when you go to the Duterte family support uh 20% of adult filipinos um support the Duterte family uh, their ba their base is really made now 53 you can see naman oh. so talagang may ano sila may hold sila sa lugar na yan right. And, and probably uh, the, the, the low numbers in Mindanao is because of the feud, right? I mean, yes, after of course. The coming out, I mean, we can see that in, in for instance, the uh, other side survey on the presidential balls. Ang baba yeah. lahat dun sa Mindanao. And then dun sa preference also for the president, laki ng baksak ni Marcos sa Mindanao. You're so, correct. You're correct, Richard. Ano, kasi um, yung ibang probes natin on trust and approval, bumag bumagsak talaga yung support sa Mindanao kaya kay President Marcos. So it's consistent, no? And and when you look at the the base of support, it's really class E. Okay, so for the twenty nine percent, which is significant, I see lah, a class E, no? Both of them are thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ma ma yung masa appeal nila is almost identical, yeah. Yeah, pero mas malaki si Impro Marcos group sa class D, which is the big chunk of the biggest one, which is fifty five percent voting population. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, even of the population in general, adult Filipino population. So, yeah. So, those who do not support is still a huge chunk. No? And uh, those who refuse to, um, uh, you know, who are ambivalent, basically. So, the 29%, we, we classify them as independents. Yeah. And, and, and you'll, know, you'll notice the base of... So, can you go down to the last three slides? Uh, yeah, it's, it's just at the bottom. Yeah. So yeah, let like we can if can you yes, put uh yeah. Yeah. Okay ka pala sa Zoom, Richard, eh. pwede ka pala. Partner pala tayo, pwede tayo partner sa presentation. 
Sige sir, ako yung asik research assistant. <laughs> Gawin niyo na lang ako sa but, ano. But, but, ano, but ano. look at these numbers. Okay ba? This, I, I, it is this useful? You look at the mail. Yes, the demographic supporting. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, at the, the this is how it spread. At, uh, you know, the regional, we know that already. But urban, rural, it's almost the same. Yeah, for the Marcos vote. Yeah. The pro-Marcos uh, support, not vote, but support. I'm sorry. Uh, male, female, almost the same. Uh, but look at the age group. Uh, um, they're... They're pretty balanced, very strongly, well supported in the critical uh, 18 to uh, uh, 35 range. So that's where uh, there's lots of support. And you'll be surprised, no? 55 to 64, ito yung Marcos, ano, babies, no? Ito yung, hindi uh, pa naman ako dito sa age group na to. Pero alam mo yun, uh, yeah. The Marcos. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 so, ito, ito, but, but I think interesting yung sa education, uh, actually educational background ng ng uh, Marcos supporter, no? So uh, you'll see that a big chunk of them are from high school vocational, yeah. Uh, and interesting, but not surprising. Iglesia ng Cristo is a big, you know, when you look at the religious breakdown, fifty-five uh, percent of the and the, and that and then of course you're you're you know you you look at the ethnic support no uh, it's it's basically ilocano tagalog no yes okay. uh, but can... there's a very small there's a very strong cebuano support pa rin 22% pero wait lang ag aglipayan wasn't it found by an ilocano <laughs> nga lang. I, mean, I was just reading lang about Isabella de los Reyes and then Aglipayan but, yeah, but, 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 but the big yeah. chunks there are Roman Catholic Islam yeah. and so meaning in the terms of the actual percentage that they have as far as the population is concerned so Very interesting. But, Good. interesting is but you look at the the next slide which is the Duterte family yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah so yeah it it, it, it You'll, you'll notice their the support is very different at, as far as the age groups are concerned um yeah the the, the big supporters are Islam no can you see 66 percent so uh, when you look at the religious support no? Here, the Mindanao factor there because most yeah, of the Mindanao the factor are Mindanao. Exactly. yeah so Mindanao is also their base of support and uh Bisaya, no, forty-one percent. Can you see? What's 1 the number? One percent, say Locano. One percent. <laughs> which I wonder, si na tong one percent na may Locano to. Oh, okay. I'm gonna research <laughs> them. Good <laughs> case, akin. Uwi ako na malaki <laughs> soon. <laughs> hey guys, may one, one percent. percent. Uh, I mean, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, but <laughs> this is a, a snapshot. Uh, this is good. This is a very, uh, very helpful. Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it reinforces the demographics we know about these two political families and why they were also very uh, unbeatable together okay um meaning you know you can understand their base of support right. if they're united they can really uh there will be a lot of continuity as far as government and politics is concerned no interesting but then they're by bif they're bif bifurcated not just around personalities and personal interests but also along policy lines we also know that diba? right uh, and it's 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 become the great divide uh between the families now there one is very supportive of china the other one is uh, not so not as supportive no uh, sorry uh, is that yours or mine no uh i think that that probably is yours uh bro well, okay, uh, no no this is very important because Honestly, for me, the big thing before we talk about the third part, independence, is and the reason why I find it very interesting, uh, aside from the fact that meron mga sub demographics, this this reminds of uh, us of the. Because when titing naman dito, almost kalahate ng mga voters are either undecided, independent, or major traditional opposition, right? Because yeah, pag sinama mo yung dalawa, thirty one plus twenty, that's just fifty one percent. So. Roughly half of the voters are up for grabs, right? In a sense, for an yeah, in a sense, to, yeah. to Dirt and Marcos, this is this yeah. is huge. This is actually very important if you look at it that way. Assuming yeah. of someone consolidates them into some a third force, a third force. If you're planning a campaign for uh, the midterms, this is uh, important to take note of. 
but this is not surprising. They're they're not very strong. The administration is not very strong uh, in Mindanao. Uh, so, but 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 the thing is, they can consolidate. Right? When you look at the independents, there uh, a lot of them are, in, are still in balance. Luzon, Visayas. So you can uh, you, that, that's up for grabs, talaga. Lana Visayas. So uh, this is uh, something that the administration and even the opposition, whoever eventually becomes, no, uh, or takes takes control of it. However, it, uh, it evolves, no. Uh, we'll have to work on. There's a lot uh, uh, for grabs. Now, if you put that plus those who did not respond, that's around forty-five percent, Richard. So up for grabs. No, I, I I find this very very helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 I'll just call you Ranjit, na lang, kasi ano. We want to have you more regularly, so first name basis, na lang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Professor yeah. Right. Um, no, no. Um, this is very very helpful. Obviously. I found nothing shocking in terms of numbers except the one person. Bakit may one person pang mga ilo? <laughs> pang hudas kayo? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah. No, kasi yeah. I was just in Baguio, di ba? Last week before I flew into US. And and okay. ang dami mga bumpers. Where are you now? Where, where are you now? Where are you now? What are you Berkeley now. Berkeley. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaya it's, time no, zone not not it's night time or late? It's, late? it's 9 p.m. right now. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's nice. It's nice. So, thank you so much time. for agreeing to morning kasi ang hirap. Because later uh, this week, we're going to have uh, Senator Trillianis back again also on our show. But hmm. so that's going to be like 5 a.m. my time. So medyo, you're going to see more Sabog version of me. Um, <laughs> 5 a.m. is not my time. Talaga. But uh, <laughs> thank you so much for this. Um, so, Professor, can you can we look at the big picture now? And also, dito sa independence. What is your read dito sa independence? Because I also find this very interesting. Well, there, there are um, yeah, Filipinos who are still... Uh, you know, uh, they may have actually uh, um, support. No? I mean, the, the 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 question is not crafted. You know, they, they, it still needs a, a lot of improvement as far uh, as uh, generic question. What about the uh, right? What about and so right, right, uh, to uh, yeah, improve this question uh, over time? This is a, I remember this was not de developed by Octa, so the client base. No, the client suggested this question, and uh, we just ran it. Uh, uh, for them, no. Operationalize um, lang kayo. Oh, no. uh, operation, but with slight uh, improvements in the, uh, to improve the validity of the question. But right. then again, we 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 can break this down ideologically. We try to find out. No? A lot of people are out there who don't see the administration or the uh, uh groups that they want to support. Okay, and, and that's also good, right? Diba? Uh, that the company the, 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 it's not bifurcated by just two families, although a big chunk of it is nearly 50 percent. No? I oh, know more than 50 percent are already right. basically I mean, the pro mark was pro the dead, but a big chunk is still open and 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 uh, is still looking for that uh, group they want to support or they have support. No, um, but we also included the opposition because that's four percent, no? and so they don't see right. the liberal party, uh, or, traditional or the, opposition. Oh, yeah. As the, as the group they want to support also that's that's also good that we you know our, our own uh but, but one could also argue there's a divide right? there's a divide between those who have already affiliations no and those who are, who do not um what it what's relevant for me here is that it reaffirms all these old images of Philippine government and politics right? that's familial it's very personal that uh our divides are along ethnic cleavages no and that uh, you know the weakness of the party system, the lack of it, no, the non-existence of it, has not disciplined our politics. Uh, has made our politics ill-disciplined and around all this uh, parochialism and personalism. Yeah, but if the if we had stronger parties, you know, we could uh, uh, see ourselves be divided along ideas, ideology, platforms, and programs. No? Instead of just families, no? but I think a lot of the data reaffirms all our own, uh, you know, consistent uh, images no, of uh, how changeless right. politics seems to be. But you know, there's hope in the twenty nine and in the forty percent who don't have a position yeah, that's yet. That's a yeah. huge number. I, I, honestly, I think I'm more optimistic than you. Cautiously more yeah. optimistic in the sense yeah. that the two surveys that we discussed today uh, are two sides of the picture. Right, one side is the continuity part particularly continuity in terms of appeal of the Tulfos and Dutertes and the whole macho populist kind of appeal. Although yeah. I think both of us argued that, forget about differences between Dutertes and Tulfos, the Tulfo brothers themselves are extremely different from each other, right? I have interviewed yeah, yeah. in, in Rafi 
two very different yeah. individuals. Um, I think Rafi is much more independent so far. Uh, let's see with Erwin if he's going to hew more towards the administration. And then Ben Tulfo is totally <laughs> different conversation, right? But at the same time, I think the second survey was very interesting because almost half of the voters uh, were either independents or kind of anti-system or something, which tells you, you know... That there's hope for change, right? Exactly. Assuming yeah, so certain right. things are done. Yeah, yeah. So at one level, one could construe uh, continuity and change now from the picture being shown yeah. by the survey. Although the data is not enough uh, to make uh, solid arguments, but you know, there's always that as uh, taking ourselves out of the survey and looking at the general trajectory of Philippine politics. There's a, there is a trajectory for reform. Uh, there's a strong uh, sense of continuity as far as government and politics is concerned, but there is always that. Uh, you know, that element of change that's happening and being driven by young people, by people who are progressive, who align themselves along ideas, uh, platform, and, and, and you know, uh, a belief that, you know, democracy and development can actually happen uh, if we all work together. So, you know, there, there's always that, uh, that movement there. And, uh, you know, hopefully that movement will have more voice and become more, um, uh, you know, vibrant, no? And uh, we hope to see that, uh, you know, uh, more survey numbers in the future pointing out to this progressive movement taking hold of our politics. Uh, on that note, thank you very much, uh, Professor Rai. As you can see, low but na ako dito, medyo mag uh, so <laughs> per perfect. Matulog ka na muna. Sleep is in preparation of, uh, for the Senator Trillanes interview. Yeah, I know, I know. There's there's so much going on. I still have to write a piece on the quad patrols in West Philippine Sea and all. So thank you so much, for, uh, Professor Rai. This was very helpful data. And definitely, I'm going to refer this. Uh, to this uh, in future lectures, discussions, and writings. We hope to have you again uh, in, in, in the near future as more data, as more interesting surveys, as more tightened, you know, designed surveys come in because para mas kampante. Because I can see you're hedging a little bit uh, in, yeah, a, yeah. in a social scientist way. Na para yes, want to yeah, jump yeah. into conclusions. But yeah. as I said, at least we have something to hold on to before we can make a conjectural or more than hopefully conjectural political analysis. Thank you very much, Professor Ranjit Wright from Okta Research and, of course, University of the Philippines Diliman Political Science Department for joining us. Thank you, Richard. Uh, and thank you to all those who watched uh, today's podcast. Thank you. God bless and have a good day, Paul, sir. Thank you. Okay.